Hi, I'm Kristen of Case Co Arts, and today we will be working on this 11 by 14 canvas right here. We're going to do something similar that was in this video, which is right here. And I wanted to show you guys the final results. This is absolutely beautiful. I originally started off with like wilderness vibes and like nature and everything, but I incorporated some blues. And instead of getting the nature and the wilderness, I was able to create something like a coral reef scene that's under the ocean and I would like to share that with you guys right now. I also went back and added some flowers on there in order to get some coral flowers and they turned out absolutely amazing. So here is the painting right here. This is how it looks. It turned out absolutely gorgeous. I went back and added some vines in there. The vines and the flowers are both complete. It is dry. I want to decide whether or not I want to add a coat of resin on here because I believe that it will be absolutely wonderful once the resin is added. We're going to do something like this on a smaller canvas on a smaller scale <clears throat> and that is on this 11 by 14. So the colors that we will be using on here are going to be the opposite. So I'm going to have like a blue, uh, a blue background on here with some mixed in colors using my paintbrush. So something abstract and then going back after it dries and adding an acrylic pour on there. Before I start this video, I would like for you guys to go ahead and hit the like button right there and then also make sure that your notification bell is turned on so that you can be notified every single time I upload a video. I would like for you guys to join me and pay attention as we're about to do another abstract mixed with acrylic pour video. Okay. Again, we have our 11 by 14 canvas on here. This is what we're gonna be working on. Of course, I'm gonna bring you guys up closer and have some cups on there so that you can see it. But first, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use my paintbrush. If you guys wanna fast forward this part or I can fast forward the part for you guys while I paint the canvas. And this is the way that it's gonna be. So instead of it being portrait, it's gonna be landscape form. I am first starting with unbleached titanium white the same way we did inside of the other painting. So start with the unbleached titanium white. Let me add a little bit more on there. And then I'm going to go in, if possible, <laughs> with maybe I'll start with a, a blue gray next. And then let's see, or trying to decide, maybe I should go in yeah, maybe I'll go in with my blue gray. And all the colors are going to mix in. So I have my blue gray right there. And then I'm gonna come in with turquoise. So, no, I'm pretty low on here, but hopefully I have enough, which I think that's gonna be enough because it came out in bigger clumps. And then last color I'm going to use is of course going to be Prussian blue which is a darker blue color. And they're all gonna mix in anyway, but I wanted this blend of colors to be on here um, because I think it's gonna turn out absolutely beautiful. So let me go ahead and grab my paintbrush and begin to paint. Again, you guys can skip past this part and also to make sure that this time around, you guys can actually see me do the sides and everything. Cause I wanna make sure my sides are good and covered just like in the last video. And then I'm going to slowly start to mix in my blue gray before I go up. So I'm gonna mix in the blue gray
add a little bit more unbleached and then I'm gonna go this way coming down and I'm going to leave it alone. The unbleached titanium white into here into the Prussian blue. Okay, so go ahead again, make sure that my sides are actually good and filled. And this is the exact same method that we used in the painting that I just showed you all. Sometimes you guys get some of those loose bristles. Okay, so what we are going to do next, of course, is we're gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna come back once it's completely dry and we're gonna start to do an acrylic pour right on top. Okay, now that our canvas is dry, we are going to begin to layer on the colors. So remember, we painted the canvas first and using unbleached titanium white, we use blue gray and we use turquoise and then Prussian blue. So that is what uh, the colors are that's on here. Now we're gonna go ahead and begin to layer up our colors. So what I wanted to do, I was going to use grains <laughs> and I might just do that, but I'm feeling like I should go ahead and stick with the blues in this painting. So what I'm going to do first is we're gonna try something different. Um, down here, I am going to make a circle using the Payne's Gray and the Turquoise Blue color. And then up here, we're going to do a bigger circle. And then up here, we'll do a much bigger circle. So I want to do this because I had like um, an idea inside of my mind and I want to try to stick with it. So on top of that color, I'm going to add regular turquoise blue. And this one, of course, is lighter. So I'm gonna add that right on top of here. And then I'm gonna come in with my ultramarine blue. Right on top. And then I'm going to use the metallic blue right here. Metallic emerald, I believe. Just to add some metallic in there. And then right here I have this pearl blue. I added some of my regular blues with the pearl blue. And I just wanna see how this turns out with the pearl color added in there. Now these two circles right here, they're adding, like they're coming into each other, which is just fine. And in there, I'm also going to add some of this pearl white, but I'm only gonna add a few drops just to see how that turns out. And I will not be using my blow dryer today. I will actually be using my straw to see how this turns out. And this is just the tester, just to see. So I'm gonna take my blowtorch, try to stay on the actual colors and not on the canvas. And then I'm gonna take my straw and blow this out. So here we go. And again, the circles, they're gonna go into each other. Turn it around to blow that one out. 
Then I'm gonna turn that around and blow the end of that out as well. Okay, then now I'm going to flip the canvas around so I can blow out these other ends. Now, I am going to, I guess, use my finger to scrape this off on the sides. And I wanted to see just like how this is going to dry, <laughs> how this is gonna turn out when it's dry. Um, just to see the composition and everything that's on here with the background being what it is and then the fluid paint on top of it. Um, I had another idea that I wanted to try out, but I'm always looking to try new things. And this is something new for me in regards to, um, of course, having the background. I didn't want the, the background colors to be messed up or, um, have too much of it on there and that's the reason why I just did the circles on there but the colors that I use all of these blues on top now I do feel like maybe I should have added some green in there but so far this is really really pretty I wanted to try to keep the circle composition so hopefully the circles doesn't close in as much I like to take you guys in for the close-up so you can see exactly how this turned out so come on in and here is how it looks. So I have my circles on there. I have all of my blues in the circle form on there. One circle leading into the other. I believe this turned out absolutely amazing. This is really, really beautiful. This is really, really different as well. Just wanted to show you guys the close up of how it turned out. Of course, um, I will add more to this painting because I want to continue to add um, abstract and acrylic pouring into one. Well, I would like to thank you guys so much for joining me on this quick abstract and acrylic pour painting. We are going to do more of these. I'm just really exploring and figuring out how to be able to incorporate abstract and acrylic pouring all into one. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As I always say, number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And number three, last but not least, no matter what it is in this world that you are personally facing, decide and turn your pain and even your happiness into paintings. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.